And now we move to who owns Kenya. Now, as we wind up the series on the oil marketing sector, we do so on an extraordinarily high note because, of course, Kenya recently announced the discovery of oil deposits in Turkana County, whose commercial viability, I must say, is yet to be ascertained. Now, the discovery of oil is often a bag of mixed blessings, which when opened could bring out either blessings or curses. Now, will Kenya's oil bring us blessings or curses? That's a story for another day. The story for today, though, begins in the ancient land of Greece, the land of Pandora's box, but more importantly, the land of the Trojan horse. The petroleum company we're featuring derives its name Trojan from the Greek legend. Now, in this legend, the Greeks had been fighting with the Troys for over a decade when one smart Greek general came up with a bright idea to bring the war to an end. The Greeks built a huge wooden horse, which they gave to the Troys as a present. But inside the gift horse were some very hardened and tough Greek soldiers. Since the gift horse arrived in the evening, the Troys stored it in the king's courtyard to be appreciated the following day in daylight. But alas, in the middle of the night, the gift horse opened up and out came dozens of soldiers. They raided the palace, capturing the king and his commanders. Naturally, this brought the Troy wars to an end. Now, the petroleum company we're featuring today, Trojan International Limited, is named after the Greek Trojan horse. Asked how the name came about, a key shareholder of the company, you know this fellow, former Mandera Central MP, you know him well, Bilo Kero, said that he has always been fascinated by the story of the Trojan horse and thought it may have some lessons for the business world too. Now, the company was registered in 2009 and in three years it has managed to capture a reasonable chunk of the market in the highly competitive oil marketing business. Trojan Petroleum controls about 0.7% of the oil business in the country and has presence in six countries in Eastern Africa. The company moves an average of 50 million litres of petroleum products annually with an estimated turnover of 3.3 billion Kenya shillings, a sizable figure for a company that is only three years old. Seems like the Trojan horse strategy works well in the business world too. Now, the company plans to expand its downstream business to include lubricants and LPG, that is cooking gas. So, who besides Honorable Bilo Kero owns Kenya's version of Trojan? The shareholders are three Kenyan businessmen, namely Samal Osman, also Bashir Hassan, as we've already mentioned, Honorable Bilo Kero, who is a, a former MP. He's also a partner at Image Registrar's leading share registers and securities company. Now, the three businessmen also have interests in manufacturing, in the hotel industry and real estate in various parts of the country. They hold shares in Trojan Petroleum uh, International Limited through companies listed here. Let's take a look at those companies. Misik Miskilul, excuse me, Miskilul Kenya Limited holds 45%. Galgalu Holds Limited with 30%. And Ramu Holds Limited, 25%. Now, the final word, it's, it's not fair to end a series on the oil sector without featuring the company that discovered oil in Kenya. So next Sunday, we will take the time to explore the interesting world of Tulo Oil PLC, its owners and its operations as well. So keep it Sunday Live for that next week. I love our quote this week. Let's take a look at it. And it reads, the largest mugumo that is the oak tree. The largest mugumo tree you see around was once a tiny little seed that held its ground. I think it's so beautiful, my kokini, because it reminds us that you may start somewhere small, just a seed, but if you hold your ground, you can grow into a mugumo. And that brings us to you and sport. It's the same thing with sportsmen. Uh -huh. They once used to get to the finish line at the last position, number 15, 16. But then when they grow, 
they start winning the gold medals. And we hope we're going to see many in the Olympics. Yes, Olympics mm -hmm. this year is Kenya versus the rest of the world. That is the theme that we have. We must push them to the very end. Absolutely. Thanks, Julie. When we come back after the break, we'll be talking about Kenya Open Golf. New champion, new year. After the break. <laughs>